Welcome to lesson one on why medicine. Throughout this tutorial, we want you to learn via practice. So when you see a screen like this, you want to pause the video and practice yourself. Even if you haven't done any preparation yet for the interview, it's a good idea to try your answer and see what you can get. And as it says in the bottom right corner, it's also a good idea to record your response and listen to it back later. So why do you want to do medicine? Pause the video and have a go. Well, first of all, this is a classic interview question. So you definitely have to be prepared for it. There's no excuse at all to go into the interview not having an answer for this. There are different factors to consider. First of all, you might want to talk about your interest for science. You might enjoy learning about the human body, about physiology. Secondly, it could be the desire to help people. Often people feel that there's a cliche against this, but if you phrase it right, then this can be a very valid point and a reason why many people want to do medicine. Three, an interest in patient contact and human engagement. This is different to two because it's more about the way you work on a daily basis. In a job, for example, in accounting, you might be in front of a computer all day, but in medicine, you're always talking to patients and speaking to humans. Four, insights you've had during your work experience. You can link in all your other points and back them up using work experience. And five, there could be lots of other factors. For example, it could be an inspiration in medicine since childhood. You might have seen a family member in hospital and appreciated things about the way the medical team worked. It's really up to you, but these points just give you an idea of general guidelines. So here are some key tips for this question. Have your answer ready, but make it seem natural. Some people say that the interview shouldn't be prepared for. But if someone's going into the exam having prepared an answer for why medicine compared to someone on the spot, you can see a huge difference. You might not want to memorize your whole answer, but instead you can memorize your three bullet points for the three reasons why you want to do medicine, or maybe the three work experiences to back up those three points. Secondly, don't get carried away with passion and emotion. It can seem quite idealistic and quite unrealistic if you say that you want to do medicine since you were four because you saw your granddad in hospital. This could be the case, but explain it logically. You could say that you saw the medical team and saw how they worked very well together, and that's what pushed you towards doing medicine, rather than pure emotion. Thirdly, don't list points. Pick just two or three and expand, instead of listing seven or eight. Next, understand that medicine is a fusion of science and social. So you want to talk not only about the social element of medicine, but also the scientific element. It combines research of the human body with actual social application in a clinical setting. And lastly, use your work experience. This has shown you what medicine is like. So always link work experience to points you've made. Let's have a look at an example response. I want you to assess how good this response is on a scale of one to five, with one being the worst and five being the best. I want to do medicine because it is a prestigious job and I want to challenge myself academically with the opportunity to earn good money as a bonus. Is this good or bad? As I hope you spotted, this wasn't a great response. The student straight away jumps into talking about the prestigious element of the title. Of course, he talks about the academic opportunity, but then he ruins this by talking about money. You don't want to talk about money or the title in your medical interview. This is a poor answer, one out of five. Next one. I enjoy the detailed scientific academia, which intellectually stimulates and challenges me alongside the human engagement involved in clinical practice. This answer is quite good. The student has taken two different sides of medicine, the scientific academic side, where you learn about the human body, 
and the clinical, social side where you apply it in the real world. And this is really what medicine is, a fusion of the two. Four out of five. Next one. I love medicine and I have a dream of going to medical school since young. Viewing my father's life-depending operation at the age of 16, I was given an insight into the intricacies of a hospital and the pressure-driven yet intellectually challenging environment of medicine. This answer has some very good parts which would normally get a 5, but has some very weak parts which could get a 1. So therefore, overall, it gets a 3 out of 5. The way it starts, I love medicine and have had a dream of going to medical school since young, is just too idealistic. And again, he talks straight away about his father's operation at the age of 16. And it is, of course, a life-changing event for the father and for the son as well. But it starts off too idealistic. If you're going to talk about your um, family member's operation or your family member being in hospital, you want to tone down how idealistic the rest of it is. The part after where he talks about the insight into medicine, the hospital, is brilliant. But the bit at the start is too idealistic, so therefore this answer can't score above three. Now it's time to work on your answer. For every question you see in, in this course, you want to sit down and write out bullet points for your own model answer. You could even write out the answer in full, but bullet points should be sufficient. And at the end of this tutorial, there are three good examples of answers for reasons why you like medicine. We won't go through them now, because they're there for self-study. So pause the video and have a look through. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this free tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock 100 tutorials on topics such as MMI, Oxbridge, NHS structure, work experience, personality and much more, click here now.